So you want to know how to get rare items like gems, huh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've come to the right place. Today, we're going to go over how to get these rare items and how to drastically increase your chance of having them drop. What's going on, Poogs? You are amazing. And he's going to actually come in very handy for this particular situation when we're trying to farm some quest rewards. We'll actually get into that in just a second, but we will get into the basics that you're gonna need to know when farming things like gems. And I also have an equipment set that we'll go over as well as some other things you're gonna need to do when all combined together will drop buttloads of gems. But let's go ahead and get into the basics real quick. One thing you're going to wanna make sure to check out for all monsters in your hunter notes is what parts need to be broken to drop the items you're looking for. So, if we're going for a Odogaron uh, gem, you can see here that on this page we can get it from a tail carve, and we can also get it uh, an increased chance for getting one when we break the head. So this is something very important, and each monster has their things that you can do to increase the chance of both getting them from a carve and the chance of having them drop as a quest reward. Now you cannot have them drop as a quest reward unless you break these parts, and each time you break it, you'll have an increased chance of getting it. Now you'll see here that we do not have um, the Lagania gem actually listed as a quest reward, but I've gotten more gems from quest rewards than I have ever gotten from a carve. And we'll show that off in this video as well. Literally the first time I got two gems doing it this way from quest rewards and not from carves. So uh, anyways, so that's something that you're going to need to pay attention to. And as, as you basically learn about each monster, you'll understand, you'll actually learn in these hunter notes, what you need to break and carve to actually get the chances of these gems. So make sure to pay attention to that for anything that you're fighting. And it just comes in really handy because this is not going to work unless you actually break these parts. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the equipment that we are using. Right now, what we are doing is we're using Kieran's Favor, which gives us a high chance of increased capture rewards. We are capturing our monsters uh, instead of actually trying to go for carves. As I mentioned before, I've had significantly better luck getting gems from captures than I have ever gotten from carves. We've also got a good chance of increased request rewards from the Legiana Favor. And then we're also going to be using something else. Well, let's go ahead and get into the actual equipment that we're using. We're using the Kadachi Claws. Now, to get the most out of this equipment, uh, you just use pretty much any thunder element weapon. You can really use whatever weapon you want, but the Karen stuff comes with increased thunder damage, so obviously I'm just using the Kadachi Claws or something like the Kadachi Strike Bow or what have you. Now, you do have Marathon Runner on this particular set, which you'll see here. We have a Weakness Exploit level 3, Marathon Runner level 3, Divine Blessing level 3, Ice Resistance, who cares, Thunder Attack, Evade Window, Attack Boost. So it's really not that great stats-wise. The, the classes that are going to get the most out of this are Dual Blades and the Bow. Uh, so that's what I'm using. We can really use whatever you want. The main point is just having the Equip skills here, the Capture Master, and Good Luck. Uh, but the equipment that we're using is the Kirin Horn, the Legiana Male Beta, Kirin Long Arms Alpha, Kirin Hoop Beta and the Legiana Greaves. Everything else could be pretty much what you want. And you can swap around these. As long as you have three Kirin pieces and two Legiana pierce, uh, pieces, you'll get both set bonuses and it'll be very good. And the next thing you're going to want to do is actually eat the correct meal, which is going to drastically, potentially drastically, increase your chances of getting a gem as a reward. And you're going to do something called the Lucky Liquor Platter. And this gives you the skill Lucky Cat, which sometimes increases the number of reward items received at the end of the quest. Now this stacks with the other skills that we have, so we're drastically increasing our chances of getting the items that we want as quest rewards. And what you need to do is there's very, very rarely any fresh beer in the canteen, so you're going to want to actually use a voucher. And you'll see here that we've got 16 vouchers, and this will actually give you a 100% chance to actually get all of these skills on the food skills. So it's very, very good. And that's where our neighbor, where, where Poogs go? He was following me. <gasps> There's Poogs. Come here, Poogie. I don't know if I actually have him uh, friendly enough right now, because I always forget to pet him during the live streams. But if you carry Poogs over here next to the handler and put him down there's actually a chance that he will dig up a voucher here. I don't, I'm don't. i not friendly enough with him right now, so I don't think he's going to dig it up. Oh, 
maybe? No, okay. But yeah, it is right here. If you just drop Poogie right here, it'll go over here and it'll dig up a voucher. Now, you do have to make sure that you are friendly enough with Poogie for that to work. And it doesn't happen 100% of the time, but it happens often enough that you're never really going to have issues with vouchers if you do that. Now, from the Hunter's Notes, we know that if you break Odogaron's head and cut his tail, you're going to get a chance to get gems as a reward, and you're also going to have a chance to get a gem from the tail carve itself. So, keep that in mind. Make sure to check your Hunter's Notes for what pieces need to be broken and or cut, and make sure those are your main targets during the fight. Now, I am going to be capturing these monsters uh, with this particular set, because when it all stacks together, it really increases your chance of getting it from a quest reward, so that will be what we're focusing on in this. Now, a lot of people say that they think they can only get gems from actual carves, um, but I've had about 98% of all of my gems actually drop from quest rewards, and I very, very rarely get gems from actual carves. And that being said, if you are hunting Elder Dragons for their gems, then you're not going to need Kieran's Favor because you cannot capture them, so there's no reason to use this. You just want to use the Legiana Favor and the Meal Buff, and then you can use your other three equipment slots for whatever you want. Now, if you are playing solo, what you're going to want to be using is the Plunder Blade. You can actually get gems from the Plunder Blade, which is absolutely Amazing. If you guys don't know how to get the Plunder Blade for your Palico, there is a video in the description, and it's absolutely amazing. So when you're going through the quest, you're going to want to make sure that you actually order your Palico to use the Plunder Blade, and you have a chance from the actual ordering of the use of Plunder Blade, as well as your Palico will occasionally just use it throughout the fight, and hopefully you'll get a gem from that. So all of these things combined can really increase the rate at which you will get gems and rare materials in general. Now, as I mentioned before, we are actually going to be capturing our prey for this to work in the best case scenario. Now, you guys can choose to do carves if you so desire, but I have had the most luck from using the set, and this was actually my first capture versus carve, and I got a whole bunch of gems doing so. Now, you can see that we got two gems and an Odogaron plate for this actual quest, which is pretty darn good. And this leads us into the last thing that you need to make sure to do when actually going for any sort of rare reward from monsters. So the last thing you're going to need to make sure to do is that you're doing investigations with the most amount of gold and silver rewards as possible. You can have these where you have two silver and two golds. I, I, I don't know if I've ever seen anything with more than two gold rewards, but I'm sure it's probably possible. Uh, I usually end up doing quests with about one gold reward and two silvers, and those are very good because you can get both gems and plates from silver or gold rewards i think you might even be able to get them from bronze but you definitely have the highest chance of getting them from a gold reward now you can if you're farming stream stones or something i highly recommend doing hunter rank 30 or higher tempered investigations now obviously you won't have a chance to get the gem or rare material that you're looking for from the actual re bonus or these rewards here um but at least you're killing two birds with one stone at that point but you're going to have the best odds of doing a gold or silver rewards quest, or investigation rather. So all of these things combined can drastically increase the chance you have of getting a gem, and it's pretty much the best way. I've gotten most of my gems, if not almost all of them, except for like maybe three from actual captures. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to get them from captures from Elder Dragons, and that's just how the cookie crumbles. But otherwise, this is a very helpful way to do it, and we already talked about the best way to do it for Tempered Elder Dragons. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel and you enjoyed the content, don't forget to subscribe and check out more. I've got tons of build videos on the channel. I've actually got a playlist in the description of all of my high damage, or health region, defense builds, whatever whatever you're looking for. Chances are it's going to eventually be on the channel. So if you're enjoying the content, subscribe. It's free. It doesn't hurt nobody. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it. It really helps me out. You guys have really no idea how much that actually helps. It's free. Just do it. Harley will love you. Every time you don't smash the like button for a YouTuber, for any YouTuber, not just me, a Palico dies. And you don't want that, do you? Like, Poogies get kicked, Palicos die. It's pretty, it's pretty terrible. 
I highly recommend doing it. <laughs> well, but in all seriousness, if you guys do have any builds that you would like to share with me for the build videos that I've been doing, um, if there's something really cool in there that I haven't spotlighted before, uh, I'll give you a shout out. Make sure to join the Discord and uh, post it in one of the Monster Hunter channels, preferably the builds channel. And uh, if I really like it and have the parts for it, I'll give you a shout out and I'll spotlight it on the channel. It's a win-win situation. We're getting the community informed, which is the best way to do things. You know, sharing is caring, ladies and gentlemen. But I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I'm super excited for Devil Joe to be coming out at the end of the week. And I'm going to be live streaming a lot of those hunts, trying to get all of the armor and weapons unlocked for some hopefully cool new builds. So keep an eye out for those streams when they come down the pipes on Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, really. But anyways, that is all I've got. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.